following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the staff or management of KWSH or the 110 Broadcast Group. Stongo Simono Logi Jeremy Fultz Cheho Jifkudo Simojanita Hedam Nitahi does a Papa Hoyan Moen Delaney Pinot Taklegi My name is Jeremy Fultz. Has everyone recovered yet? Anyone know? I, I know I haven't. <laughs> so if you haven't heard, this weekend was Seminole Nation Days. Great turnout. Round of applause to everyone. It went well. Everyone showed up. I thought it was Mark's over there saying, yeah, two thumbs up. <laughs> but um, every, it seemed like everywhere I went, Mark, I seen either Mark or Josiah out there. So good job. Communications and media. And Seen Chief and Assistant Chief everywhere this weekend as well, and seen Terry over at the headquarters. So every again, just a good job all the way around. Good job, Smino Nation. Man, but I'm still tired. <laughs> <laughs> I still kicked up. Oh, that yeah, my uh, allergies are still still sneezing just a little bit, but it seemed like everyone had a good time and kind of checking out social media and all the hashtags and the posts. Seems like everyone enjoyed Stony LaRue on mm -hmm. uh, Saturday night. You know, the princesses were all out there this weekend. They were everywhere as well. Seems newly like crowned. they're, yeah, newly crowned. Big, newly crowned princesses. And even, uh, you know, I didn't get a chance to mention this over the numerous events that I, <laughs> that I emceed this weekend. But uh, Mado to the outgoing princesses, you know, you know Grace and uh, Melana did a good job. And then also the Seminole Nation Honor, Honor Guard princess, Gabby Factor, they all did a great job this year and even some of them for a couple of years. So um, great job. I, I don't have any negative things to say. I think everyone did a fabulous job again. And what about you, Delaney? Any negative that you got to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> Easy answer. No, I definitely had a good time in the, the parade. You know, we the grand so the grand marshals for the parade were the living former chiefs. So like Jerry Haney, Nico Jerry Haney was out there, Leonard Harjo, Greg Chilcote, they were the all the grand marshals and then there's even special guests from the Seminole Tribe of Florida, Mitchell Cypress was out there, Brian Zapata, and I, I, know, I know I'm missing a couple more from their delegation. And then even in the small arena, there was entertainment going on literally all afternoon. The parade, yeah, the parade started at 10. And then as soon as the parade was over, we moved to that small arena. And um, it seemed like there was a lot of gospel groups there. Traditional dress took place there. Um, and then um, even Rick Carpenter, you know, get to talk, Rick Carpenter. Seminole tribal member and man that guy can tear up some piano keys and he did a great job he's he's always on tour with some some group playing playing piano somewhere but man he did a great job some Chataz Rita Fine that was out there the even the car show I, I seen them rolling in about six o'clock in that Saturday morning and they did a good job what, what was your favorite part the lady of this weekend Seeing everybody happy, smiling, seeing old friends, making new friends. It was just good to be back. Yeah, it was. I, I think that was the 
what everyone said. So that that, that was a good response. <laughs> I, know. I think that was the that most, came out. The most know, yeah. sensitive and emotional I think I've ever seen Delaney Pinnock. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Just speaking from your heart, man. Just speaking from your heart. <laughs> and so let's we got kind of have a full schedule today with all the winners. We kind of wanted to get through most of those, or at least what we had. And then, uh, as usual, our fourth and eighth Sunday church meetings in our moment of silence. And so, at this point, let's do the fourth and eighth Sunday church meetings uh, this weekend. Butler Creek, Cedar Creek, Ufala, Grave Creek, Greenleaf, Hitchity, Nuyaka, Randall Mission, Sand Creek, Sand Springs, Tallahassee, Tawathali, Tabafka, Tagabachi, Tuskegee, Wilka Indian Baptist, you know, and speaking of Wilka Indian Baptist, I've seen Juanita, uh, what's her name? Juanita Harris? Harris. Yeah, Juanita Harris out there this weekend, and uh, it was great to see her. She said that she listens to our radio show, uh -huh. and so, it's Juanita, hope you're doing good today. My boy, Jitsuna, it's Jay. She <laughs> and so uh, come help us with some language, Juanita. <laughs> and so we'll uh, we'll talk to y'all soon. But again, it was all these elders too coming up to us, and you know we don't think too much about the radio show and you know doing this because we we've been doing it for almost a little over a year now. But we appreciate these elders coming up and saying that we've been doing a good job. You know it it's nice when. Um, you know, just to hear that every once in a while, so some of oh, we appreciate it. But um, every week we talk about the ones who started their journey, and you know, a lot of families, even though it was a time of celebration, a lot of families going through some heartache and some struggles, and we want to remember those families and uh, members of the community in your prayers and your thoughts. And at this time, we're going to go ahead and pause for a moment, moment of silence. And so, now that Seminole Nation Days is over, we look forward to a special call meeting September 27th at 7 p.m. And we have the agenda here that we'll go over briefly. So there's no unfinished business on this agenda, but new business, TR 2022-87, a tribal resolution of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma approving the fiscal year 2023 proposed comprehensive budget and providing for appropriations. TR 2022-88 resolution approving the Seminole Nation Division of Commerce fiscal year 2023 budget and approving the incorporation of the same into the nation's forthcoming fiscal year 2023 comprehensive budget. TR 2022-89 a tribal resolution approving the fiscal year 2023 Seminole Nation Gaming Agency budget and incorporation of said budget in the fiscal year 2023 comprehensive budget and authorizing an appropriation. TR 2022-90 resolution approving the fiscal year 2023 Seminole Nation Business and Corporate Regulatory. Commission budget and incorporation of said budget in the fiscal year 2023 comprehensive budget and authorizing appropriations. Don't let me forget there's a page yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then TR 2022-91, a tribal resolution of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma approving the fiscal year 2023 Seminole Nation Gaming Enterprise budget and incorporation of said budget into the fiscal year 2023 comprehensive budget and authorizing an appropriation. TR 2022 92 resolution approving the fiscal year 2023 Seminole Nation Business and Corporate Regulatory Commission Land Research Program budget and incorporation of said budget in the fiscal year 2023 comprehensive budget and authorizing an appropriation. All right. And then it says continuation of meeting on September 29th if needed. So there's your agenda for the special call coming up September 27th, 2022. Also, just be... Woo.
also just be aware of um, band meetings coming up um, within probably this week and also next week and you will see them posted on the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma uh, Facebook page as well as any announcements that we may be able to get out as well so and then also moving on tribal assistance is still available in the form of YHEAT and there's also emergency tribal assistance ARPA that is not income based that is still available we spoke to uh, social services this morning and they said that there are uh, assistance still available so uh, Oklahoma Nation or Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Y Heat Cooling Assistance that began on June 13th there's still funds available now they did mention that they're having some issues with the phone number the 405-257-6257 and so if you do call that number if it's disconnected or you're, if there's phone line issues call the main number to the complex which is 405-257-7200 or 7200. From Diabetes Program, Brown Bag Fitness today at 12.15 behind OAP Uwoka. Entrance is on the east side of the building, so it's still going on. Get out there and get your fitness on. And then while we're talking about diabetes, you know, they put on the 5K, which we had to be out there at 5, well, I had to be there at 545. I heard some of their employees had to be out there like at 4 30 oh, on saturday 4 30 in the morning at 4 30 a.m oh, wow. yeah and so um you know definitely props to them they they did a great job on their 5k and one of our own ran the 5k this year mark mark no. Mark was out there taking driving. pictures, <laughs> but the lady, good job, the lady, oh, even, even Bo White Killer was out there, my cousin, my mom even came out there, I know, it was a good time, I had fun, it hurt, hurt it, but uh, I had fun. No one realizes there's hills out there by the Mickasuki Mission until <laughs> yeah, they I run out about the hill that I drive all the time, yeah. running it is a little different. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then also from diabetes, um, Prevention Department Power Hour Staying Healthy, Fit and Cool Exercise with Kyla and Jerome Classes starting in September 6th through October 28th Every Tuesday and Thursday from 6pm to 7pm located, located at the Jafigny Wellness Center 35445 Highway 59 Seminole, Oklahoma you can register at Jafigny Wellness Center or via email. Complete 50% of classes to receive free sweatpants, plus receive free incentive each class session. Good. Some tai Chi going on on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's September 13th, 10 a.m. Location, New Life Church. That's when we woke up. You can also register at Jafigny Wellness Center. Yeah, email. Yep, and so the phone number is over there, 405-652-0878, and also 405-234-5246 if you have questions. Also, the Seminole Nation Employee Fitness Challenge is going on, so all you employees that are in the Fitness Challenge, bring it on, bring it on, they said. You're going to win this one too, or what? Um, I don't know if you're going to do this one. <laughs> wow, We're so yeah. busy. The Seminole Nation Days this year that we wanted to dedicate all of our time to the tribal members that were out there. We wanted to, you for know, yeah, for the people. We did it for the people. We, we didn't do it for the people, we should say it that way. We wanted to give them an opportunity to win one this year. I and, so. <laughs> and from communications, communications will be recording introductory videos for the new princesses tomorrow. There will be a recap video of Seminole Nation Days, and the Joga the Lummy will be out in about two weeks, Mark said. So that's another Mark D. Williams Mark guarantee. It Mark it down, quotes, said. Quotes. Mail it in. Mail it in. <laughs> All right, food and nutrition. Services will be open to the public. That started on the 1st of September. The department will be going to take precaution measures for COVID and require that clients wear their masks to enter the facility and the apartment allow three people at a time. So 
reach out to nutrition, food nutrition. All right, and so I had to bribe Jake this morning to send me a, um, a did you know? And so, because he wanted me to announce that National Voter Registration Day is today, 920, and it's from 5 to 8 p.m. There's an event going on called Rock the Vote, Rock the Native Vote at the Reynolds Wellness Center here in Seminole at 1001 Strother Avenue. There's a fry bread contest, door prizes, and a traditional meal will be served today. We might have to go to that. That sounds good. Again, that's going to be uh, hosted by Rock the Native Vote. Uh, if you have any questions, contact Dana Miller, 405-584-3355. And so I told him to send me, if I, if I read that on the radio, he had to send me the, uh, the uh, did you know statement. So this is from Historic Preservation. The lady, did you know that on this day in history, in 1852, Billy Boleg signs a treaty with three other chiefs and agrees to move to Indian Territory with the other removed Seminoles. Today in history. Today, I didn't know that. We talked about it. And that's on today's National Voter Registration Day. Again, tonight from 5 to 8 at the Reynolds Wellness Center. Catch some fry bread contests. Door prizes and the traditional meal. Some mud oh, mud oh. All right. And then also, the Honor Guard, any service member with honorable discharges, uh, honorable, or the Honor Guard needs some help, give Rex Haley a call, 405 220 5342. And they were out there all weekend as well. We saw them in the parade, saw them at the uh, State of the Nation addresses given by a chief and assistant chief. Um, in the small arena, and then they were out at the powwow last night with the uh, grain entry, or last night on Sunday with the grain entry. And so, again, doing a great job uh, for the tribe, great ambassadors. So let's move to judgment fund because we're getting close to that deadline. Uh, Arpa Clothing Assistance Program. Applications may be downloaded from the Nation Oklahoma website. This first month of ARPA voting program will begin at start on July 1st and will end September 30th. So end of this month, the judgment phone will be accepting ARPA clothing applications until the 30th of this month. So get those apps in if you want some assistance. Yep. And then also language, you know, we've been working on these books, but yesterday you know, all last week and was it the week? No, it was just last week we did a a Mojanita uh, Hadam um, Obanaga Ojidos um, on Facebook and Instagram leading up to Seminole Nation Days and it was the Seminole Nation theme and so had a lot of words surrounding Seminole Nation Days Seminole Adoa Fachikadanita and we did that and put a lot of work into it because we knew yesterday we was going to be out of the office and we needed to record some more stuff. So we're taking this week off for uh, the Mojanita Adam Obanaga Ojidos uh, segment. However, we released a four-week beginning Muscogee online language course. And so we hope you enjoy those lessons. If you get stuck on a word or a lesson, feel free to message us. However, uh, like I said, we'd like to thank the ones that made the lessons happen. Education specialists, and also co-hosts of the radio, the Lady Pinnock, our admin support, Catherine Howe, media specialist, Josiah Bender, and then one of our summer youths, Jaden Stewart. And so, uh, without their willingness to learn and laugh, those lessons wouldn't have happened. So, but oh... Jimmy O for directing it. <laughs> Sitting there, pressing the record <laughs> button. <laughs> But the online courses, if you go to the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma website, which is sno-nsn.gov, and if you go to the Culture tab and look for the Seminole Language Department, you'll find a link there. Or if you go to our Facebook page, you can also find the, the direct link there. We hope you guys enjoy that. And so also, 
let's see here. We've got about 10 minutes left. Uh, the Veteran Services uh, Committee would like to recognize all of our Seminole Nation veterans and all those that have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. We are planning to recognize these veterans in the Seminole Nation's Veterans Center. You can email Frank Alexander at flalexander at ymail.com. Please include the name, rank, branch of service, any foreign service ribbons, and any other commendation received. And they also did an announcement this weekend at Seminole Nation Days, just having people come up to the Seminole Veterans Center because it was kind of another soft opening. Thanks, sir. Hot dog. <laughs> you know, this, this had to be veterans doing this. Hot dogs and coffee. It wasn't water or coke. It was coffee. So hot dogs and coffee. And I appreciated that because, boy, it got hot out there. And I was getting hungry. Didn't get access to I didn't even get a salt meat sandwich. I didn't get anything this weekend. Busy, man. Busy. Yeah. But hot dogs. Josiah came in huge. Brought me some hot dogs. Mark came in huge. Brought me some hot dogs. I appreciated it. But my no to the honor guard and veterans community for bringing me hot dogs. It was, it, they kept me going. It kept me going with all the hot dog power. So, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so also job openings. If you're looking for a job, uh, be sure you check out the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma website. Go to the careers tab. There's plenty of jobs out there. Accounting, ASAP, child care, diabetes, domestic, domestic violence. Executive, Head Start, ICW, IT, Maintenance, OAP, Procurement, Social Services, Transportation, Vehicle Maintenance, Veteran Services, and then also Wildlife Parks and Rec. Uh, so if you're looking for a job, make sure you check that out. Also, www.seminonation.casino, and if you look to sindoc.com, S-N-D-O-C-O-K, you can take you to an Applicant Pro website where you can see all the available jobs at Sindoc. And then also, there's still a housing authority opening for procurement clerk. So feel free to give them a phone call at 405-257-6604. So let's get to some of the community events going on. There is a quilt auction. Uh, Seminole Nation Domestic Violence Program is putting on Saturday, October 1st, uh, 2022 at 2 p.m. at the Kelly Haney Center Ballroom at Seminole State College. Um, Stitch, standing together in tradition, courage, and hope against domestic violence. Make sure you go out there and show them support. If you have any questions, you can contact Terry Stone, 405-382-3762. We've got some birthdays, Delaney. We've got some birthdays here. Start off with Clayton Wayne, Josie Alberson, Jordan McCain. Melissa Lena, Rachel Howe, Cindy Gow, Jason Demires, Norma Bach, Linda Yola Smith, Ian Miller and Haney, David Serrano, and that's from Laura Coley. Can you see Anita Alfatsky? Who got this? Is that all of them? Yeah, it seemed like it took us about 15, 20 minutes to get them all together. <laughs> you just read through them in like 30 seconds. So. Yeah. Alright, and so now we're going to kind of recap some of the winners from this weekend. We appreciate everyone coming out, all the softball teams, the volleyball teams, basketball teams, car shows. It was busy at the mission this weekend. And it seemed like everywhere you looked there was something going on. And uh, I know I appreciated that because, I mean, there is literally something going on everywhere around the mission at all times and then you had this carnival man that carnival was legit I didn't make it out over there but it looked like it was fun over yeah. there. they wouldn't let me ride a ride for some reason <laughs> I don't know why but the uh, all the rides all the kids seemed like I even see the assistant chief's kid just going from one ride to the other I happened to be me and uh, just I happened to be swinging that way in the car at one point seeing the assistant chief's kid out there and then probably seeing a lot of y'all's kids out there having fun and so uh, they definitely looked like they had a good time we were we were asking survey questions just on behalf of the nation if some of the kids were having a good time they kept giving us thumbs up we saw one lose their shoes and they just kicked them probably about 25 yards 
but they ended up walking over there finding their shoes and they had a good time too they said so but also just remember on September 13th the Seminole Nation dedication of remembrance happened and that kind of kicked everything off on Tuesday it was in remembrance of those lost to COVID-19 to the departed may your memory live to our people may your spirit rise united together the Seminole Nation will preserve or persevere and so that was the day of remembrance that happened on Tuesday then on Thursday at the Jeff Johnston Auditorium the Seminole Nation Princess Pageant was held and Madonna Grace Lena and Milena Whitekiller for representing the Seminole Nation as Junior Miss and Miss Seminole Nation and congratulations to the new Little Miss Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Olivia May Harjo Junior Miss Seminole Nation Amira Newsom and also Miss Seminole Nation Ayani TV uh, Mado to all the princesses who attended from other tribal nations as well as the Princess uh, Pageant Committee for putting together a great pageant and then from Thursday did anything happen on Friday? Uh, yeah. Stop Dance happened on Friday had a great turnout Buffalo Dance and Usabunga happened and so Mado to Fish Pond for helping out helping out with that stop dance it was good seeing everyone out there and then parade winners first place the Ocheesy Band second place Tom Palmer Band third place the Coker Family they had a few floats in their in their um, conglomerate I don't know it wasn't one float it was I think a bunch of them yeah they represented real well and then we kind of had winners so HPO also put on a traditional dress contest this year and it was uh, different age groups and so first place for 0 to 10 Gitoya England and she screamed when she heard her name when she won but she took off running uh, Lorena Harjo and Carmen Harjo first, second, and third and Zero the King Little Boys Kendall King, Isaiah King and Nolan Gargoshian traditional 17 to uh, or 11 to 17 girls Isabella Larney and she had her hair put up in the old traditional fashion it looked real good Amira Newsom and Annalise Martinez contemporary women Kay Kylie Violet and Sandra Johnson Kyra Halata traditional women's uh, Dana Miller first place Danita Halata second place traditional men uh, Rodney Factor Wyatt Washington and Jagger Tiger and so what about winners of the Fishing Derby do you have those? No, no. The fishing Derby that was held Sunday <clears throat> ages 5 through 7 most caught Mathis Walker smallest catch Andy Pedward biggest catch Lily Foster 8 to 10, most caught, Benjamin Walker, biggest catch, Haley Davis, smallest catch, Keith, still my turn. Bendon now. Bendon, yeah, Bendon now, ages 11 to 13, most caught, River Williams, biggest catch, Riley Story, smallest catch, Ian Taylor. Congrats. And then also, the powwow was held on Sunday. There's a lot of winners on that one. We don't have all of them because um, those will be printed in the newspaper that's coming out. However, the only winner we do know of right now is our very own Catherine Howe. That's so, winner, yeah. congratulations. First woman's Buckskin. Second place was Nivy Yeholer. And then third place was Aaron Yeholer. And so, language department involved all days. <laughs> And Seminole Nation uh, Days Car Show winners. The best stock, Talena Lee with her 1968 Chevy Camaro. Best modern was Jeff Sarton with his 89 Chevy C1500. Best modified was Kevin Davidson with 1926 Ford Model T. Best classic was Boo G. Tidmore with his 55 Chevy Bel Air. And the best of show, Chad Jones, with his 84 Olds Cuddy. Yeah. Next win from the Cornell tournament. First place, Rocky Batman and Groot. Cameron and Jonathan Kingfisher. Second place, Chipper and Jace Fuentes. Chipper Jones and Jace Fuentes. Third place, Slime Gotti and Uncle Drew. Nate Edwards and Andrew Amos. 
All right, and did volleyball. First place Native Mob, SWAT Team, and Homebucks. Women's Fast Pitch, THC, Volkanovka, and Zayaha. I think that's a Yuchi team, so I'm probably saying that wrong. And then Men's Fast Pitch, uh, Southeast Bros winning first place, Young Guns second, and Shades of Red took third. 5K winners, James Monroe took overall. Even Delaney Pinnock finished 13th. So now the 13th. <laughs> So all the winners that we didn't get to, um, your names will probably be printed in the Joga the Lummy coming out later in October. Uh, we're getting ready for the October version of the paper coming out. And so again, Mado, great job, Seminole Nation. You represented well. Everyone that came out and supported, members from the community, Mado, for coming out. Everyone had a good time, and so. You can catch the rebroadcast of this radio show on the Facebook page, YouTube, and Tribal website, sno-nsn.gov, for the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma every Wednesday around 8 p.m. If you have news or announcements you want to share on the Community and Events Facebook page, please email the communications staff at seminolemedia at gmail.com or call 405 652-7251 and as always ladies and gentlemen tune in every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on KWSH 97.7 FM or the legendary 1260 a.m. for producer Mark Williams, engineer Dennis Burton, media specialist Josiah Jimboy and I'm Jeremy Fultz-Badeau and Jim and I are